How is City of Hope's supportive care medicine program different from that offered at other institutions? Supportive care has really had a rich history at City of Hope. It's, it's one of the largest departments, it might be the largest department in the country, uh, that actually has included all of the different services. So if you need mental, physical, social help, we have all of those services included within our division, and our goal is to deliver each one of those to the patient so they know what's happening. As a provider, then I don't have to keep track of these four or five or six different services that may help the patient. We have an all one for stop, one shop stop place that can include all of these services for each individual patient. Can you describe the unique supportive care needs of cancer patients? We know that fighting cancer is a much different connotation than any other type of disease, and I'm biased because I'm an oncologist. These patients are thinking 24-7 about their life, their families, their friends, and their friends are doing the same. We have this saying at City of Hope, and I believe Steve Foreman uh, is the one who coined it. At City of Hope, when we hold your hand, we don't let go. And these patients who are battling cancer need this type of help. And our supportive care is just one example, one shining example of how we don't let go of that hand.